Hey guys, I'm Sneesh from Team Must and in this video, I'm gonna discuss about the topic number system. Basically, number system is a system which was defined in mathematics for the calculation of any mathematical term. So this video covers up the categories for the number system, uh, what were for the subdu uh, subdivisions of the number system. I mean, so basically, I'm gonna discuss about the natural number, whole number, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, prime numbers and the composite numbers. So this video covers up all those topics. So starting up with natural numbers, uh, this is the most common one, we all might know this. Natural numbers are the numbers which start with 1 and end up to infinity. So there is no decimal included, there is no fraction included. So uh, I will say the set would include, generally we denote the natural number with capital N so if I have to write natural numbers, I would just simple, simply say that the numbers starting with 1 up to infinity and which are not the integers. So this way I'm going to write it. Um, yeah. <coughs> so basically these are the most common ones. Now coming up to the next type that is whole numbers. The basic definition of whole number would be uh, it's the natural number plus 0. What I mean is, the set of whole numbers includes 0 in itself, which was missing in case of natural numbers. So if I have to denote, basically we use capital W for denoting the whole numbers. If I have to denote, in the set I would simply write 0, 1 and the whole natural numbers. The difference is, we just added 0 in its, in its set. So this is what is whole number. Again, there is no decimal, no fraction in this case, in the case of whole numbers. Now, moving on to the next category, which is integers. The basic definition of integers would be, uh, integers are basically the set of whole numbers and their opposites. Uh, what I mean to say is, ho uh, the whole numbers included all the positive integers. Let me tell you which would make it more clear using the example. These were the uh, whole numbers which we studied uh, just a moment ago uh, up to infinity. So now I said that integers are the set of whole numbers and their opposite. Now I'll take their opposite ones too. So minus 1, minus 2 and so on up to minus infinity. So these are the set of integers. Basically these are defined as the negative integers, negative integers and these are defined as the positive ones, positive integers. Okay, make uh, I guess that makes sense. The integer 0 is this one is neither positive nor negative and has no sign in itself. So this is the different one and uh, the integers are denoted by the alphabet capital I most commonly now moving on to the next part the rational numbers a rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio that we, uh, that that's where from where its name came from ratio in the sense I mean P upon Q I mean it can be written as a fraction uh, in which the numerator one the one which is on the top and the denominator one which is on the bottom should be the whole numbers um, but, mark, um, but exception that q the denominator one is not equal to zero so this is the definition of a rational number now if i ask you is four uh, is four the number four a rational number your answer would be yes it is because it can be written as a ratio i mean in a fraction that is four upon one where the the denominator 4 and the denominator 1 are both the whole numbers so this is a rational number this is what its definition is and one thing more to notice is in case of rational numbers the HCF the highest common factor should be I mean should be 1 this should be 1 highest common factor should be 1 now, now if I ask you is 2 by 4 to the number 2 by 4 a rational number you would say no it's not because it can be further simplified into 1 by 2 now the HCF comes out to be 1 
HCF now is 1, highest common factor is 1, so this now in, and this now is included in the category of being a rational number. This wasn't and this is a rational number. This is what the exact definition of a rational number is. Now moving on to the next category which is the irrational numbers. Now the irrational number is the one which is opposite to the rational number. In case of rational number I said the numbers which can be written, written in an, as in a ratio. So those numbers were the rational number but the numbers which cannot be expressed as a ratio of integers or whole numbers they are the irrational numbers. So irrational numbers cannot be represented as terminating or uh, uh, repeating decimals. What I mean to say is <coughs> uh, if I take an example I mean a number to be 0 0.43217 and it's on and on. I don't know where it would be ending. So this number can be categorized in a irrational number because this is non-terminating. If it was terminating, suppose it was terminating uh, for about 0 0.4321, then it could be it could have been written as a ratio. That is, if the number was 0 0.4 three two one this was terminating and I could have easily written as a fraction four three two one upon thousand this is a fraction for the simplifying it would if the highest common factor comes then could have been converted in a rational numbers but this is non terminating I don't know where it ends this number this number is non terminating so this is categorized in irrational number which cannot be expressed as a ratio so this one can be rational I don't know but this is sure to be irrational number but again I say that it should be non recurring as well which means it should be non repetitive if it was repeating itself like I take an example of 0 0.232323 it, it was repeating itself then it could have again been easily written as a fraction again it could have been converted in a rational number but this number which is non repeating and non recurring so uh, non recurring and non terminating is a irrational number because it cannot be written as a fraction written as a ratio that's why its name is irrational number not a ratio i guess that makes sense now again there might be some query that in case of rational numbers i said that they are written as fraction but this isn't a fraction as such so there might be some queries in your mind i made a separate video out of it in which i have briefly explained to convert these type of decimal numbers which are repeating itself and non terminating into a form of a fixed rational number which is in the form of p by q uh, the one which i discussed a, m a moment before so you can see the link right now on your screens or in case you have turned off your annotation you can always find them in the description below that is basically a question which is generally asked to convert the repeating numbers recurring numbers into a proper fixed rational number so don't miss the video now moving on to the next one prime numbers now again I have made a separate video of this topic the prime number and the composite numbers we have briefly explained what is a prime number and what is a composite number is one a prime or a not or is one a composite number or not the videos cover up all those topics also I have taken examples to prove whether a number suppose example I am asked to find is a number 9873421 so on so on I mean the endless number if you want to check that this number this whole number is prime or not so I have explained the trick to find out whether the number is a prime or not within seconds that would fetch you the output within seconds so don't miss that video too the link is visible again on your screens right now or also you can find them in the description below uh, in case you have turned off your annotations so this was it for this video hope you like this video do subscribe to our channel teamers as a lot more videos coming on till then be mass and keep rocking yes sorry for the handwriting part <laughs>